Hi, this is Lisa sharing life stories with you. I want to interview my husband and let him tell you what happened to his top alcohol dragster. I wish you'd turn that down in the background. Can't have that music on. He's going to turn this down so he can tell you. Look at his toolbox. It's like crazy town. All right, Chuck Krizawa, what happened with the race car here? What's going on? Well, when we warmed it up, it was popping out of one of the cylinders, so... I thought it was the plug that was bad because I noticed the last time I started it, it had to pop again, but it got progressively worse. Did it? Uh, I didn't hear. Shut it off, put a plug in it, new plug in it, mm -hmm. and fired it up again, and it ran on all eight cylinders, but it still had the pop. So I took the valve cover off on the side that was popping, mm -hmm. and... Mm -hmm. It has, the push rod came apart on the end of it, so what happened was the intake valve in the, the last cylinder wasn't firing. It's not destroyed or anything, but if you would have kept running, it would have destroyed. If, I would've, if it would have happened on the track, it would have blew up in my face. Oh my God, like your dad had that once. His dad caught on fire, what, twice? <laughs> or once? That. More than that? Fire quite a bit. So, what do you got to do now to fix this? I got to order some new push rods. And push then, rods. Uh, from now on, because a Hemi doesn't oil like, at least a racing mm -hmm, Hemi, mm -hmm. doesn't oil like a big black Chevy, and that's what I've been used to working on. Mm -hmm. and Why, is that what Phil's is? Yes. And He's easy money racing, right? Yes, and Phil's car... His valve train, the oil goes up through the push rod, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. oil goes through the uh, the rocker arm and oils the tips of the rockers where on a Hemi, mm -hmm. at least a race Hemi, the only thing that gets oiled is the rocker shaft itself. So okay. What you have to do is you have to put some type of grease on these valve tips every time you start it. Did you? Nope. So what, you learned that now? I learned a, a, something new. That, that you didn't you know? To, uh, you have to put grease on the ends of them and then uh, I can't start it like I want to continue to start it. I can't run it like a regular car motor because it's it's not built for that. It's built to to fire up and run and run five five minutes and that's it. Top. Why? What were you doing? I would start it up aimlessly, just because I I like to hear it run. Right, because this is your love. This is your passion. But, but that's I, not good for it. It's not good for it. So I gotta okay. stop doing that. Or things like this will happen. Okay. Thank God it happened here. Yeah, the track. yeah, not at Milan or somewhere. If it would have happened on the track, it would have hurt the motor, and then I'd be. It would have hurt you. But I'm more worried about the motor. Mm. The, the stuff will fly by me. If I hurt the motor, then I can't run the car. So I got some extra parts, but not a lot. Not if something like that would have happened, that would have been. You would have been done for the season. That would have been catastrophic. Yeah. So, thank God it happened here. That's my dad telling me, quit running it like an everyday car, you idiot. <laughs> His dad's with him. His dad built these cars. He said he would have a, a roll of steel come in at the beginning of the week. At the end of the week, he'd have one of these whole cars made. His dad. That's what his dad did for a living, and that's why he got into the sport, because he would go to the racetrack every weekend with his dad, and his family would be at the racetrack. This is what he grew up doing. This is what he knows and loves. So, so I figure this gives me a little bit of practice for when I'm at a big race, because stuff like this is going to happen. Right, right, right. So, now I know what it takes to get this apart. I had it apart in probably 10, 15 minutes. Good, because they give you, what, an hour and a half turnaround? 45 minutes? That I'm going to be racing, it's a little, a lot La different. La longer? Yeah, they're, they're not so strict like they are. With the top fuel. With a big and whose motor is this over here? That's your boss's. Uh, That's beautiful. He's going to shit when he sees that. 86, uh, GMC Sierra. He's redoing this truck for my my old boss. He's a great guy. 
and he's gonna die when he sees how beautiful this mower this is beautiful he's really gonna love that isn't he did you ever show him it yet did he love it so how long will this take for you to fix this because i'm gonna end the interview here now how long is this gonna take yeah I have to order push rods from somebody. So that, but once you get them, how long will it take for you to put back together? About a day? 10, 15 minutes. That's it? That's bad. Um, the only thing is, is I got to send this starter mm -hmm. out. This is, this is what actually starts the motor. Yeah. This goes on the snout of that over there, which is the blower uh -huh, uh -huh. and injector. So... With the belt on. But what's wrong with that again? Didn't you send that out it's before? Wore out. It needs to be rebuilt. So That's awful. So Susie, who actually owns it, I asked her what she would sell it to me for because I want to send it out and have it redone. And she's mm -hmm. like, don't worry about paying me. Just send it out there and have them go through it. That was so, nice. So... I'm gonna send it. I gotta send it to California Monday. It'll take them three days to do it. Uh -huh. That way, when that comes back, it's fresh, and then this will all be back. Deck, yeah. Fresh. Then hopefully, the skipping that I keep hearing doesn't happen. Happening. Hopefully, it goes away. It will. It will. It will. Keep believing. Your car is just beautiful, and these are his new wheels. He had spoke wheels. This is. This is just a badass car. All right, Chuck Kurzawa, thanks for taking a moment of your busy day and talking to the people and showing them all your stuff. You're building an engine for my boss, and you got this going. You got a lot going on. A lot going, and then you got to fix your mask car on yeah. Monday or something. All right, I'm going to go start cooking for, for Easter, and I just wanted to check in and see what was wrong. But at least you found the problem before it became a real problem. God was with you. Again. Again. God's good. Lisa Sharing Life Stories, you please subscribe. I'll be bringing you more top alcohol dragsters and cars and stuff I see and asking guys stuff. Have a great day. Bye.